Hi. So you want to paint an abstract. You're interested in getting into painting an abstract, but you find yourself getting stuck in your head. Like, what do I paint? Where do I start? So I'm going to show you a fun little way I like to approach abstracts and do it on paper. I'm using, I pulled out a pad, I don't know where I put it. I'm using Bristol. Um, you can use any drawing paper, any, any brand, sketch paper. I have a pad, I don't know where I put it. But start on paper because sometimes if you're new to painting and you spend all this money on supplies, on canvases, there's pressure. You feel like you have to make it, you know, good. And if you do it on paper, it's a little less expensive and you might feel like it's not as big a deal. And I think that's good because you want to be in the mindset of having fun. That is when creative creativity comes through. Sometimes before I come down to the studio, I get all stuck attached to the outcome. What's it going to be like at the end? I don't know what I'm going to paint today. So try this little exercise and I'm using, I think it's like 19 by 24. This is just smooth vellum Bristol paper, but any kind of paper works. Scrap paper, sketch paper, whatever you got. And I'm using acrylic paints, golden acrylic paints. And I like to sometimes mix in house paints, house paint samples. So here's the challenge. You don't know exactly where you want to start on an abstract. I want you to think about planning a fun outfit. So if you're a creative person, and I'm assuming you are, if you're here, that sometimes you dress kind of funky, right? So we're gonna tackle it like it's an outfit. So maybe we wanna start with like our base layer, right? Ooh, I'm gonna, like maybe a, um, a denim jumpsuit, you know, like one that zips all the way up, up kind of foxy little number. So I got some dark blue. I think I might even go darker. Don't be afraid to use neutrals a lot and then it'll make your bright colors pop even more. I'm gonna try this. This is a bare color. So we're not literally painting your foxy little jumpsuit, but I'm saying imagine you're not going to overthink it if you're planning an outfit. So pick a color, any color to be your base coat. And I am going to paint a decent sized area. Have fun with it. Have energy with it. Because you know what? You can always start with another one. And you can always, acrylic paints are very forgiving. This is why I love them. They dry fast and you can paint over stuff. So this large area, let's say that's our, our denim boxy jumpsuit, right? So then what else might you add? Let's see, maybe some red shoes, is that too much? I think we might have like a off-white tank top peeking out underneath, something like that. Let's see. How about, ooh, how about this very pale pink? So literally, you, are you getting the idea that it's not, we're not gonna paint an outfit at all, but we're just sort of addressing the sizes, colors, shapes, brush marks, because when you have an outfit, you wanna, you know, sometimes you wanna mix it up, do things that complement each other. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's a very, this very pale, you know, about the amount that a tank top would be or whatever you want to do to have fun, right? So then I might put maybe some nice tan cowboy boots on my feet. I'm not a very, I'm not a very good dresser, by the way. I kind of dress like a dork, but... I mainly go for comfort. So you guys, I can't wait to see what people do with this. Almost got that in a boot shape. But see how the neutrals, and mix up your brushes. You don't wanna have all the same size brush strokes. But see how this little bit of tan really makes the blue and the pink pop more. 
it's just fun to see how things interact. Just like when you're standing in your closet trying on outfits. It doesn't always work, but you don't totally, you know, stress out about it. You don't overthink it and be like, what am I, is the outfit going to turn out like, oh my gosh. No, you try shit on and you see what looks good and you express yourself. So your abstract painting is just as unique as the way that you present yourself because it comes through the filter that is you. And I want you to have that much fun with it because the more fun you're having, the more you're gonna like the piece because it's gonna look like real you. I'm gonna put a little of this kind of Robin's Egg Blue just cause I'm feeling it. So maybe, maybe it's like um, there's some stitching on my foxy jumpsuit. And make different size marks. Experiment with this. Don't take it any more seriously than if you are decorating your notebook cover. If you're in eighth grade in school and your history teacher is just blathering on about who knows what, and you are doodling on your notebook, I want you to take it that seriously. Have fun with it. It's an expression of you. And it's fun just to see what happens. Like I just mix these two colors together and got this nice, ooh, look at that nice neutrally blue. But it gets, so if you have it on paper and if you just start, sometimes the hardest part about painting that I've found from teaching is people's brains get in the way. They just overthink when, just do it. Just get moving and get that energy flowing. And that, I think we need hot pink earrings. What do y'all think? Maybe not too bright. Let's see. And so I mix all these pinks together. But I want your mindset, pay attention to where you are feeling kind of fearful, like, oh, it might not look good. And make a shift. Say in your head, ooh, wouldn't it be fun if, or I wonder how this would look, or I wonder, you know, be in curiosity rather than fear. Oh yeah, I like that. And so there's the wonderful thing about art, the rules are there are no rules. In math, two plus two, it's always four, but you can do it. You know, like I say, don't use overly bright colors. Well, you know what? If you feel like doing it, do it. See what happens. Sometimes the coolest pieces come out from people that are just doing it a different way. Breaking rules other people are following. Oh, I like that. And I love adding in some mixed media, slapping, you know, some pencil. Um, grab something that might give it some texture. You know what I mean? So if, if you're just looking at your piece and you feel like all the energy is drawn to this one area, this is too much blue. Like if I felt like that blob, you can do a couple of things. You can put more blue in other places that kind of disperses the energy of it or paint over it. If you mess it up, dress it up. Isn't that what kindergarten teachers taught us? So I'm gonna break up that big blue blob. But I do feel like using, I've noticed for me personally, my own personal experience, that using a lot of neutrals really makes your jewel tones and your bright colors pop even more. It's sort of like, imagine if you were designing, you know, a fabulous rug. If you had it in all primary colors, that's gonna be a lot of energy. It's a lot going on and it's almost too much to look at. Color has frequency and I bet somebody has measured the frequency of color. But so when you have a lot of nice neutrals, a lot of soft toned down colors, I think it really makes your energetic colors have even more energy just by the contrast. Just like, you know, if you wear an all khaki outfit and wear a pair of bright red candy apple naughty shoes, <laughs> just kidding, no judgment here. Um, how much more the shoes are gonna pop than if you had on a red dress, a red scarf, all kinds of things. Do people still wear heels? I do not. My feet don't like them. So another thing I like to do is I like to get a big 48 by 60 canvas and 
tape up a bunch of pieces of paper. So then I have more, I'll put the camera back. I've got more, I work on a bunch of pieces at once. It gets your energy flowing. And you can feel, you can feel when somebody, you know, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna paint a butterfly, I'm so worried, I'm gonna draw this and it's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical. And oh, when people are uptight, it comes through. Every piece of art is a self-portrait of the artist, in my opinion. It shows their state of mind, it shows, you know, how what their energy level is like. You know, like a really calm, serene beach scene. I never paint those. <laughs> Maybe I should try. And then if you still, if you get stuck still, try changing up some elements. Change your brush size, change your medium, try colored pencil, try markers. I used to be, um, I took a lot of metal work classes and I'd get really frustrated. So I started taking some clay and clay was so much more malleable and like I learned so much about why I like metal. I was terrible at pottery, terrible, but it benefited me in another area. So try, try knitting, try anything else that you follow your urges and things that inspire you because you will either learn something or learn that you have something new that you love. Just do whatever makes you feel good, juicy, energetic, and that'll bring out the best artwork. And then if you're in a funky place, paint it out, paint the funk. What color is what I'm feeling? That kind of thing. Or do a little outfit assignment like this. Um, thanks for watching and we'll be working on some more fun stuff later. Have a good one.